Praise the Lord and God bless you, Pastor and First Lady. It is an honor and a privilege to greet you on this special occasion. Oh, when I sit here, I think, where could I really start? I've known you over 40 years now. And ever since I've known you, you've been an honest man, a man of integrity, a man who's after God's own heart, a man who will preach the truth no matter what others say. You're a man of faith toward God. You are solid in holiness. You are a solid family man. You are a solid example for the churches everywhere. I appreciate you and all that you have done, the studies, the word. I have never heard the word preach like some of the topics that I've heard you preach. I thank God for you and I thank God for all that he's doing through you and for you. It is an honor and a pleasure to be a member. I work with you in the Asbury District under Superintendent James Henry Turner. I saw how you serve your leader, just extraordinary servant. I praise God, no matter when you were called on, you were always a ready vessel. Thank God for that. I also thank God for our first lady, the way she have just stood by your side, no matter what was going on, you all stood there together and have just been a beautiful example for the body of Christ. I could go on and on and on. I thank God when you were under Bishop Leroy Jackson Willard, you affectionately called him dad and you serve him in an extraordinary way. I thank God for that. You have proven down through the years when you were pastor in Canada that you were faithful over the least. You never despised the days of small things. Pastor, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for being the man of God that you are. What I want to say to you today Stay on the wall. Do not come down. I don't care what happened. Stay on the wall. We love you. We praise God for you. And you talk about solid. You are wooden, solid, the sanctified preacher. And I'm proud to be your member. Woo!